All right, so this is page 112, the last section um, for the solving other exponential and log functions. So this is based off of this rule. So the rule says if a raised to the u power equals a raised to the v power, then u equals v. So this is, you know, with that whole math language. So let's turn it into an actual problem. So if I have 2 raised to the third power, the only other value that I can have in this exposition, 2 raised to the third power equals 2 raised to something, then since my bases are the same, that tells me that my exponents also have to be the same. So x has to equal 3. It's the only thing that makes, makes logical sense. If I had 25 equals 5 raised to the x power, you can see here my bases aren't the same. But I can change this to base 5 because 25 is the same as 5 to the second power. So now I have the bases are the same, which tells me my exponents also have to be the same. 5 to the second power is the same as 5 to the second power. So it makes sense. So we can use this rule as long as our bases are the same. So let's take a look at some of the problems. So this is on page 112, number 21. So number 21 says 2 raised to the x minus 4. And I'm, excuse me, I'm going to put it in parentheses so you can see that that is, the x minus 4 is in the exponent position, equals 2 raised to the 3x plus 7. So again, even though the parentheses are not there in your packet, I'm going to put it there so you can see that that is um, my exponent. So since these bases are the same, based on this principle, the bases are the same, which tells me my exponents have to be the same thing. They have to equal each other. Otherwise, this is no longer balanced, right? And so that, remember, our equal sign is our balance. It has to be the same on both sides. So now I just have a straight equation. I'm going to get all my x's to one side. That cancels it there. I end up with negative 2x minus 4 equals 7. And now I have a two-step equation. I'm going to push my 4 to the other side. Negative 2x equals 11. Divide both sides by negative 2. So my x value is a negative 11 over 2. Now, if I plug that into my equation, negative 11 over 2 minus 4 is the same as this 4. I can rewrite it. Remember, because we have to have a common denominator, 4 times 2 is 8. 8 over 2 is the same as 4, so I'm good there. So this equals a negative 19 over 2. I can plug it back into the other side and see if it works. So 3 times negative 11 over 2 is a negative 33 over 2. 7 times 2 is 14. So 14 halves is the same as 7. Negative 33 plus 14 is negative 19 halves. They equal the same thing. So I know that this is the correct answer because when I plug it back in here, I get the exact same value, okay? All right, so let's try another one. So again, as long as the base is the same, then I can set my, this is number 22, I can set my exponents to be the same thing. So 3 raised to the 2x equals 27 raised to the x minus 1. Okay, so the first thing you notice is, oh, they're not the same base. If they're not the same base, I cannot set my exponents to equal each other. But I can change 27 into 3 to the third power. 3 to the third power does equal 27, but I still have this x minus 1 involved. Now I have the same base. What I need to do now is distribute this 3 through the x minus 1. So now 2x equals 3x minus 3. I just distributed 3 times x and 3 times negative 1. Now I have a straight equation and I can solve for x. So I bring my 3x over as a negative 3x. 
2x minus 3x is a negative x equals negative 3. Divide both sides by negative 1, and I get x equals 3. Plug it back in. 2 times 3 is 6. 3, <clears throat> uh, let me write it. 3x minus 3 is 3 times 3 minus 3. So 9 minus 3 is also 6. So I know I did it correctly. Okay, so 6, or I'm sorry, 3 is the correct answer. All right, next one. Number 23. We have 2 raised to the 2x minus 1 equals 32. So this is where on your calculator you can figure this out pretty easily. Remember, this is not a division problem. This is a, an exponent problem. So what I want to do is I want to go, okay, if I have 32, how many times can I break this down to get all the twos? So remember, exponent is, is repeated multiplication. So I have one, two, three, four, five twos. So this 32 can be rewritten as 2 to the fifth power. So I have 2 to the 2x minus 1 equals 2 to the fifth. The bases are the same, which means my exponents can be set to equal each other. I have a two-step equation. 2x equals 6. Divide both sides by 2, and I get x equals 3. Plug it back in. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. 2 to the fifth. 2 to the fifth is the same as 2 to the fifth. I know I did it correctly. Okay, and that's it.